Alright everyone, welcome back Zafir, and yes that's right, we have a brand new Hunter tier list that we do have to cover because we have that new fantastic Hunter, Mirai is finally added to the game, and I can tell you right now, she's one of the most OP Hunters we've ever had introduced. And trust me when I say that is not an exaggeration because she is stupid OP. And just really quick congrats to Jinx from the first comment in our last video. Here is your shout out and enjoy your very very exclusive discord role. Alright so I want to start things off from the bottom up just so we get rid of some of the clutter here. Now we have someone like Jinho. Obviously Jinho is one of the better light breakers we have. Everyone will have advanced up as we get so many free copies of them. I believe they are a solid yes solid A rank unit. One of the better ones we have. And speaking of better ones we have, we have someone like Kang, again I want to remind you, he's one of the strongest SR hunters we have, and his weapon, his bleed etc, just make his kit so much more powerful. You have to remember he has that new exclusive weapon, which makes him very strong, landing him easily, yes easily, in our S tier. Now I know this may seem like a surprise, but we're gonna add one more tier to the very top, that's because some of these hunters on this list are just absolutely insane. So this will be the insane tier, and the reason why we have to have an insane tier is because we have hunters like Alicia, who just have so much in their kit. They have damage, they have shields, they have debuffs, they have everything you need for a fantastic well-rounded hunter, and right now, based on the workshop content we have, she is an absolute must on your team, but there is a new contender, that being Mirai. Mirai right now is honestly the top DPS in this game. Quote me if I'm wrong, but this is just my opinion. Again, you have to remember, tier lists are super biased. These are just the opinions of the content creator. So this is just based on their experience. So if you have differing opinions, please drop down below in the comments. That way we can all work collectively and make one unanimous decision. That being on which hunter will be considered the best. But with the insane tier you have to note, these are all fantastic hunters. There is a marginal difference between all of them. Now going down a recent hunter that I have a conflicting opinion about. That being Yuso Hyun. Personally speaking, I don't see too much use out of her right now. She is a very strong unit, but it doesn't classify her in the insane tier. She's strong, she has the defense pen, but her core attack spam does not justify bringing her to the insane tier. Someone like Alicia, someone like Mirai, just dishes out more raw damage, with less requirements, again this is just my opinion. So that's why I placed her in the SSS tier, because she's still lacking that oomph in her damage, she just needs too much of a setup, and honestly her playstyle is a bit too slow. Just like another hunter we are very very familiar with, that being Choi. Now I know Choi got a buff. That does land him in the SSS tier. He's still not that fantastic hunter we want. If we scroll down, and yes I know, Yu So Hyun got buffs, but still, doesn't make her fantastic enough. I know the new bonus kill shot gets is honestly kind of crazy with the core attack, basically always being up, but that's a discussion for another day. What I'm really focused on is Choi. He gets some minor attack increases. But this right here, the tier 4 advancement, getting a flat 16% fire damage increase, is honestly very strong on top of the range bonuses he gets, and other little bonuses, such as the power gauge increase, makes him a very very OP hunter, but he is still missing that content to make him very viable. Those new artifact sets we got honestly help him out a bit, so we'll have to see just how strong he's gonna be. But with the new guild content coming out, I know for a fact he's going to be a very viable unit. Now I'm going to make a very controversial choice here. I think Silvermane Yunho is honestly not in our SSS tier. He deals damage, but with the current landscape of the game, he's just one of those hunters that does not ever, ever see use as far as I'm aware. You never see someone repping him. He's just not used. It doesn't mean he doesn't deal damage. He's on par for like a Choi, but this is just based on a utility aspect, so it is kind of rude to put him in the S tier. He's still in that SSS tier, but he's going to be all the way to the bottom. He just doesn't have that content to make him viable, which is very important. Now speaking of viability, I'm sick to my stomach. 
the devs have honestly made Wu one of the better hunters we have. He is a breaker through and through. His basic attacks now deal break. He has stuns. He gets shields to the team members and also his weapon. Oh my goodness. If you dismantled it, you're probably regretting it now because when the enemy enters the break state, let me zoom in here because I can't believe it too. All team members win damage increases by up to 12%, which makes them a very viable unit, especially with the new hunter Mire. And I'm sure with kills coming, he's going to be used. Oh, it makes me sick. We are a woo hater, but I can't look over the fact that he's actually a very strong unit now. On top of his A5 bonus, basically proccing his tier 3 passive, which is very, very good. And just some minor bonuses here. And one thing people always wanted is actually this right here. The super armor effect is quite useful. And also the dash CDR, making his utility and his kit even more well-rounded. I cannot believe I'm saying this, but Wu is actually quite phenomenal now. Yes, I know, clip it. Tell the community, Zaf says Wu is actually good now because it's true. And unfortunately, I do think he deserves a spot in the SSS tier. I still think he's lacking just a little bit of damage, but again, his utility makes him so good now. Oh, I am sick. I know some people might argue he will go in front of Troy, but I'm just going to leave him here. Baby steps, folks. Don't make me give him too much credit. This is honestly where he belongs. Now, another insane unit we have is none other than Cha, the number one waifu. I do think she's still under Alicia. Mire does outperform her, which is quite shocking. Mire's damage is honestly insane. You already know Cha got some buffs as well, making her honestly much stronger. We know Golga and he is coming out, so I'm sure she's going to be even more viable. But right now, that's where she belongs. And one thing I do love is with the Dancer, we no longer need a crit. It's just when the skill hits, which is honestly very, very good. And also the additional unrecoverable effect, very OP. And as you know, the Dancer is a very important requirement for ultimate, getting that bonus damage off at the A5 level. So a fantastic, fantastic, fantabulous bonus treat by the devs. So everything is looking quite good here. I know we have hunters like Kim, absolutely terrible. We do have someone like Johi. She's actually quite good now because that man recovery can come in clutch. She's not fantastic, but she deserves a spot in our B tier. She's becoming more and more useful, but she's still quite useless, so that is where she's gonna go. But we do have SRs like Nam. Nam is honestly one of the best SRs in the game. Honestly, I would say she's one of the best, period. I think people totally forget she has a weapon, and this weapon is no joke. Providing a defense decrease is quite vital. Very, very strong. Especially for hunters, so that's a very rare skill to have at least in high quantities like 20 and right now she's a fantastic substitute for hunters like jiwoo if you don't have them providing a ton of break an absolute ton of break as you can see she has so much medium and heavy break you have to remember heavy break is very rare in this game and her basic attacks also provide break so overall she's one of the best units her kit is absolutely crazy ignore my artifacts increasing damage to frozen targets bonus break and of course, the crowd control effects, making her one of the best SRs in the game. Actually, in my opinion, the best SR period. Now, there is one more SR unit. We do have Parky Jin. Obviously, you know, Parky Jin, I believe, is the only hunter that does boost your ultimate damage. If we go to her QT, as you can see, 15% ultimate skill damage bonus, making her quite good. You can't forget the passive as well, a 15% power gauge increase. And by increase, I mean recovery, of course. And her A5 bonus is no slouch either. Refilling her gauge at the start of the battle by 100%. Crazy, crazy. And her A3 bonus, oh my goodness. The power gauge fill, oh, it is heavenly if you ask me. And not only that, her A1 bonus, removing debuffs. She's honestly one of the most well-rounded units in the game. It's honestly a surprise she's an SR unit because she is quite fantastic. So based on all these facts, obviously, she's going to go all the way to the top, though. I do believe Nam is just a bit better. Nam just has more uses right now, but in the future, considering when units are very useful, especially with Mire, she is going to be a unit we probably see more of. But honestly, if you ask me, 
it does reflect where she falls in with other hunters, especially every single other hunter you see here. Now we do have some other SSR units now with Lim. Honestly, we don't see much use out of him. He's not weak. He's quite good for POD. But right now, in my opinion, he still falls in the S tier. He is not an SSS hunter. Not by a long shot, at least not yet. If his kick got reworked just a bit, he would actually be a very strong unit. But as it stands right now, there is no content, and this list is very content focused. And because there is no content he falls in line with, this is honestly where he lands. And speaking of content and not falling in line, we have Park. I mean, come on, in the D tier. His ultimate is him dying. What's the point in that? Throw him there and don't bring him out. Now, some SSRs that have very nice usage and damage, surprisingly, is Libora. I wouldn't be surprised if guilds, Libor being one of the best units we have. She provides damage bonuses and also she deals nice damage herself. If I had to position her, she would fall right over here in front of Choi, but not yet at the Yuso Hyun level. She's strong, she has utility, but she still needs a little bit more. Maybe in the future we'll have some artifact sets that do make her viable, though right now she's honestly quite good. Now going back down, we have one unfortunate choice here. We have Dong So, and honestly, he's quite weak. He's a nest here. Although he's a win unit and win is seeing more love, he's just not that good right now. He does have damage and that shield removal, but honestly, that is not what we're looking for right now. If he had break effects, that would be so, so nice. He does have a very long stun, but as it stands right now, he's just not one of the better hunters we have. There are so many better options. Unless he gets buffed to a point where he becomes viable, he's still in our S tier. And some other hunters that are actually quite viable. Kim Chul is quite strong. He's just like Jin Ho in a sense, providing a ton of break, shields, etc. Landing him right in our A tier. He also does have the defense decrease, which is quite nice. And a lot of break on his kit, making him quite viable, especially as a light unit. Now we have someone like Han. Honestly, she's not bad. She's not good. In my opinion, she's a C tier unit. Nothing too crazy about her. You won't be using her. There are just so many better water units to use, such as Anna. Anna is honestly quite good. She has that break, which is quite amazing. Landing your right or eight here. She has medium break. She has weak breaks. A lot of weak break, actually, in all her skills. Her core attack has a weak break as well. And her passive poison break effect is honestly quite good. Especially at the A3 bonus, she provides a lot of stacking effects. Also, decreasing enemy defense, making her quite a nice unit. And her DPS isn't too bad as well, but for an SR unit, she has limitations. That's why she's in our A tier. Now we have a few hunters left and some nice choices here. When it comes to Song Chi, honestly, he does have some nice mobbing, but he's still just a C tier unit. Not too much use. He does have his new weapon now, the still got it sword, but it's just not good enough. We know he's got it, but he just doesn't have enough damage, meaning all he's getting is our C tier. Now Min, oh my goodness, in the coming updates, Min is going to be vital, trust me when I say that, with Gogun He, a future, yes future, light unit, and not just that, he's going to be a fighter, aka a damage dealer, Min goes right up here, in the insane tier, he provides so many buffs, crit damage, critical rate, bonus assault damage, he just does it all, he is a must a must support unit so please make sure you use some otherwise you'll miss out on so much damage his a5 bonus a 50 percent ultimate skill damage bonus to the strongest member on your team oh he is just amazing now speaking of amazing we have two units they're both breakers they deal a lot of damage too based on individual circumstance we have jiwoo and we have emma now, honestly speaking, I feel like Emma is a bit slept on. She provides so much utility. Her heat effects are just so strong. And her weapon. Oh my goodness, her weapon. I'm just going to say it now. Her weapon is a must for future guild raid battles. Because even in POD, when heat absorption activates, increases the user's damage dealt by 1.5%, stacking up to 15 times making this one of the better weapons we have fantastic fantastic and also emma overall has so many good breaks her aoe is honestly amazing her q and her e providing so much break her e having heavy break oh 
it is anyone's dream and the buff so many buffs she provides and her a5 bonus makes her go absolutely crazy a 77.77 percent increase in damage does it get any better than that and the skill cooldown reset oh she's just an endless bag of fun the same goes for jiwu so much damage so much break spamming 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 getting those greed stacks off because you know for a fact she scales so well for the burning greed set and honestly speaking her weapon too oh i know i keep moaning but these hunters are so so good increasing her crit damage by six percent stacking up to 20 times whenever she uses her main skills that is truly one of the most amazing abilities we have making her one of the best hunters period so going back to our list yes you better believe she's going to go right up here jiwoo is one of the most viable units she can carry you she can clear content she can break deal damage shield etc she's just endless in what she can do landing her straight in our insane tier now what other hunters we have left we have yunho and honestly he's just not that good he's gonna go in our s tier he's not fantastic he is certainly not an s s tier hunter i know i know he's one of the best if not best lightbreaker units in the game but still he needs improvement he does have that juice defense decrease but he still needs so much more in his kit in my opinion honestly if he provided more buffs to his team he would be much more viable but right now he just doesn't these self buffs are kind of annoying if only those went to his team members then he would be truly op but right now based on those facts he is in our s tier you can tell me if i'm wrong but honestly i stand by this choice he's just there to break and that's it not really a unit we need in the future i know for a fact he'll be easily replaced and of course we have Malin left she definitely does not dong suck dong suck is actually kind of good a very nice dark breaker he's just in that same tier as jinho kim and anna they're all very good well rounded units that's where he's gonna land and we have joe honestly joe uh, i don't see it he's a light unit he deals nice ish damage for an sr unit but still in our c tier he goes not that amazing we do have malin however one of the best support units tons of core attack a must have for a team with felicia on it she also has that juicy shield removal that attack bonus is very nice as well overall a very strong unit she provides massive attack bonuses defense bonuses critical rate bonuses and also core attack bonuses like i said so that's why she goes all the way in our insane tier right beside min in my opinion that's where our best sports will go but min is still better in my opinion min is just so good for that ultimate damage nuke when you need him malin is a bit less versatile she's kind of constricted in what she can do but she's still very much insane but that does conclude our tier list let me know what you think i want to see in the comments do you agree would you move some hunters around i know of hunters like silver main and yunho and possibly lin you might disagree but i honestly think based on their usage that's where they belong s tier doesn't mean bad it just means they're so constricted they just don't have that utility we need they are hunters that only have one purpose and that purpose isn't too useful so that's why they fall in the s tier and that does conclude our tier list so let me know what you think i do believe this is fairly accurate but in the comments do tell me would you move a hunter around would you move someone like Choi up or silver rain up or maybe you know up or someone else down do let me know again these are just my biased opinions from playing the game just what i've noticed just things i do see on trend of everyone else so let me know this is a community effort putting together which hunters are the best so do let me know down below in the comments this was zaf signing out and if you enjoyed content like this make sure you subscribe do like the video and again comment down below your opinions